a community, an entire faith, and a nation in mourning. This is an awful, awful period for our Jewish community, and uh, and especially for the families who've been affected. And it's real when once you hear the names. My father-in-law was inside. Everybody, I got married in that place. This is crazy. Grieving after a gunman opened fire at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, as dozens of people were inside on a Saturday morning. We heard five repetitive shots. I stepped out on my porch. I heard three additional shots. I heard um, what sounded like a semi-automatic weapon. First responders say they took down the suspect, 46-year-old Robert Bowers, shooting him multiple times. They believe he will survive. Today we stand together as a community. Community, a community that rejects hatred and violence, a community where neighbors respect neighbors, where we embrace our religious diversity and we celebrate our differences. The suspect was not known to law enforcement officials before the shooting, but authorities say he has multiple firearm and hunting licenses to his name. He used at least one assault rifle inside the synagogue and had three handguns on him. This is a large, complex crime scene and much work remains to be done. A neighbor says he wishes there had been a warning sign. The most terrifying thing is just how normal he seemed. The FBI says the official motive is unknown, but says the case is being investigated as a hate crime, with Bowers facing federal charges. This community has been absolutely rocked, and that grief is extending across the nation. Many leaders reiterating that this shooting was not only an attack on the Jewish faith, this shooting was an attack on America as a whole. Maggie Bruley, ABC News, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.